everyone, welcome back to this channel. Com. Right, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Let's have a little look at these carbs, shall we? See you in a minute. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of carb work, although it doesn't need it because I have rebuilt these carbs already. But I just thought I'd uh, just show you a little bit what I'm getting up to, really. So, um, these are very clean. I have um, dosed them with uh, brake cleaner because brake cleaner and carb cleaner you can basically use for the same thing if you didn't know that. These are all from three jets out of each carb, so there's six jets here in total. So, when you're cleaning these out, what you want to do, you want to make sure you look at the Oh, get in the camera, mate. You know, make sure you look at the O rings and everything, and just make sure they're not too bad. Like I'm looking at these O rings, and uh, they could do replacing actually. I did rebuild the calves, but I didn't rebuild it with new parts. I just like sort of refurbed them. But um, I don't know why it keeps going out of focus. But what you want to do is when you um, when you actually take the calves apart, like this. Obviously, I've already cleaned most of it, so it's not all apart. But when you take them apart. You want to just take all the jets out, clean them with brake cleaner, and it's always good to get yourself a tin of compressed there. Obviously, I don't need that because I've got a little compressor. But if you haven't got a compressor, it's always good to get a little bit of uh, compressed air on it. So before you do attach it all, just blow it all out with the compressed air, and uh, just go over it with like a little tiny bit of wire. So I'm just going to show you me doing that. Just uh, just thought I'd record it really, just uh, in case it helps anyone. Yeah, these carbs are alright actually. I checked all the floats and the nice. Done the test of them on the other way as well. Um, I'm going to replace this fuel line while I'm here because um, this is all like confusing me a little bit. I know a lot of it you don't need on here, but a few things I do need to blank off because I'm not trying to use the. Um... Carl, I just realised. Imagine a bit of petrol in my drink. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna blank this off. I think you can blank this off, and this is um, this is just like a vent, really. Actually, no, I'm not blanking it off. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but all this is just like oh, just so much of it. It gets a bit confusing sometimes. I need to think. I think I need to hold, order myself a Haynes manual. But um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly just show you me blowing out the jets, just so you get a rough idea of what I do when I do clean the carbs. Because I don't really like to do videos of um, things I'm not fully confident with like I couldn't just in case I did anything wrong so I just do little clips but yeah I'm definitely gonna replace that fuel line because that is a uh, nearly dropped in then so yeah I'm just gonna get you set up on the tripod and I'll see you in a second okay so this is really annoying me I've got a leaky I've replaced the o-ring but it's still leaking it's doing my nutting but yeah, right, um, where was we? So blowing out the jets. So you just want to... So you can actually see a bit of dust coming out there. As I said, if you don't have a compressor, then you can always use a tin of compressed air. That's that one done. That's that one done. And I'm only going to do three of them because you don't need to see me doing all three. I should end up getting a bloody headache from this noise. Double check you can see through them. Obviously my focus is crap so you can't really see. There you go. Still crap. Yeah, so you can double check you can see through them. If you're having trouble unblocking your jets, then you can always get a little bit of wire like literally just a thread of wire like you can get it from an old lead or something just get a thread of wire and poke it through 
and um, there's like, loads of other methods I just thought I'd show you the way that I do it so what I do I clean it all with carb cleaner as you can see they've come out very well these have all come out nice I'm just gonna do these off camera because you've already seen me do these three so blow it out with all, all the um, compressor after just to make sure that when you put it back in nothing else is going back in with it and make sure you've got a clean surface when you do it as well so that's why I've put this brand new microfiber down so I've just put that down there normally I'd use a bit of tissue or something but I haven't got none so yeah um, I just thought I'd show you this little clip with these carbs not too much going on because I'm still learning but I just thought I'd show you like me actually doing a little bit of work on the carbs but obviously I'm not going to film a full rebuild just in case it goes bad or something <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching this. Um, I'm going to upload this on one of the videos. Not 100% sure which one, but it will be on there. So thanks and cheers. And I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. Bye. Stuff. I'm recording it a minute, babe. Well, come away for a minute. Come away for a minute, Bob, because I'm recording.
σίγουρα έξω. Πόσα. Εκκοίσει. Grease. Grease? Yeah. I had to, these were all brand new bolts. The bolts that was in it, I had to, tr I had to cut them off and ran them off. So they were so old, so I put my own new ones in it. I was greasing them up so they don't get seized like the old ones. You learn one day. Right, so carbs cleaned. This is the old fuel line that goes on there. What's that for? You. Well, why are you giving it to me? What do you want? McDonald's. Oh, here we go. Right, go inside and I'll sort it out in a minute. Let me just record this. Oh, you dropped the 50p there. Right, so uh, let's just have a little look, see if I've got some fuel pipe laying about. Because that is literally, it says. Don't know whether that's 2016 or because it's got yeah 2016. This is old and this is no good. This is from Halfords. Got that the other day. So that is about the same in it. A bit thicker though. Um, we'll try a bit of this. If not, I've got some other sizes and stuff anyway. So let's try a bit of that. And just get you set up on the tripod. If we just snip that on the same size. So that's a new fuel line. A bit thicker. Oh, I'm recording. Please go away. It's about the same size. And that, yeah, that's good. Should do. Let's get that on. Might need a little bit of heat for that. So we just wedge that on. Yeah, that goes straight on. And then you just want to get your little clamp. What I will do is just Put a bit of WD-40 on just because uh, when we slide it up there quickly, it's missing about a bit. Put that right underneath, right there, and that is ready to then nip up. Let's twist it down a bit. So I'm going to get that nipped up, and uh, that'd do for this one. So yeah, just a quick tinkering video. Uh, part five I think now or no maybe part four or you'll see it anyway on the description so yeah if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying this little series that I'm doing on um, this GS500 it's going to be loads so like subscribe share ride safe be safe thanks guys bye